26 minutes after five, now the Geordie actor and comedian Tim Healy is to hold a special evening talking about his life and career. It's a fundraiser for a colleague of his, former colleague of his, who helped to set the, uh, the live theatre with him, a chap called David Whittaker. We'll tell you more about it a little bit later on. It's a chance for Tim to share some of the highlights of his career. He fell ill, though, while filming Benidorm, and I asked him how his health was now. I haven't smoked either for three and a half years now. So my, oh, everything tastes much better. Anybody who smokes out there, stop smoking because I tell you, the tasting things. But no, I had a little blip. You know what the press are like? They blew the thing out of the, oh, Tim Healy died and all this. But uh, I had a rough time in Spain, but they got me back to England, sorted me out uh, for a couple of years. They didn't know what was wrong with me, with me. That was the problem. But then they found out what was wrong with me, sorted me out, and I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. great. I feel great. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you miss the tabs at all? Are there any moments of stress where you think you could have? Uh, well, I've had, I've had one. I've had, you yeah. know, I, I, could, I could take one now and smoke and think, I don't one one yeah i've got a vapor but that's more but it's like a dummy <laughs> it's, that's all it is isn't it it's a it's dummy it's a fag it's a dummy really i mean it's something to do with your hands isn't it? yeah exactly but no i just don't uh, like smoking cigarettes anymore and yeah. i never thought i'd say that because no. i started at eight years old eight eight i used to shut up the way with the last street in benwell to have gas lamps i used to link my granddad's five wood vines and i used to shin up the lamp post to get a light off the mantle and pass all the fags down to me mates and one night my dad caught me up the up the lumpy <laughs> and what were you most in trouble oh, for smoking or, oh, or shitting up the no the no for smoking oh, right. yeah <laughs> you were obviously in um, Benidorm the role that you played there yeah I mean you some people might have said that was quite a brave thing to do, you know, to put on the yeah. wig and the makeup and the and, and, and the dress. I mean, yeah. when it was first suggested to you, what did you think? <laughs> I was in the bar and I met Darren Lytton, who's the writer of Benidorm. And by this time, we'd had a few beers, like you do at the party. And I said, oh, I think it's well done, shook his hand. And I said, I'd love to do one. He said, would you? Would you like to do one? I said, yeah. He said, well, what would you like to do? I said, well, I said, something people would never expect me to be by this time I've had a few beers I said I tell you what a transvestite I said they'd killed somebody you know just as a I thought nothing more about it. and anyway six weeks later a script arrived and I thought oh my god I said I would play this transvestite so then I thought well oh well I've got to do it now so I thought well how am I going to do it I thought well I don't want to be gay or sound gay or I don't want to, you know, be an insult or to, to the gay community or whatever. I thought, right, um, I'm going to be the butchest, butchest tranny you've ever seen and and, uh, and I'll be someone my heroes like um, Tommy Cooper, you know. I, I almost nick his laugh. Uh, Leslie's laugh is very much like Tommy Cooper. And I loved Les Dawson, you know, yeah. and Sissy and Ada, brilliant Roy Barrack, Barracluff. And there was never a question of Les being a woman, you know. He was always a man, and I thought, right, I'll put a bit of that into him. And I always remember Dick Emery, of course, who could never walk in the high heels. So I nicked Dick Emery's walk. And so basically, I've got, hopefully, I've got Tommy Cooper and Dick Emery and Great combination. all my heroes in this one. And he was brilliant in that role, absolutely. Uh, if you'd like to uh, to see him talking about that and much, much more about his uh, very, very lengthy career, then uh, you can see him 16th of November at Blakelaw Club in Newcastle in aid of his friend David Whittaker. David suffered, uh, who was an actor who actually suffered uh, a stroke, which means that he needs uh, round-the-clock care now. So it's all in aid of, of being able to uh, to help David. Blakelaw Club, 16th of November is when you can see Tim Healy, and I'm sure it'll be a great evening.